Here's Victoria and Anthony with an AMI This Week Shortcut. Here at home, Canadians are known for being friendly, but that doesn't mean that we are completely safe from violence. Sadly not, and Stats Canada reports that people with disabilities are twice as likely to experience violent victimization in their lifetime. That got Ottawa presenter Shelby Travers' blood all fired up, and she decided it was time for us to join her for some self-defense strategies. I am with Laurent Mougeot, and we are here at Crav Mega Ottawa, and we're here to learn a little bit of self-defense. Um, do you mind telling me what we're going to do today? Yes, I'm going to walk you for a basic scenario, uh, you being a woman and, and uh, also, uh, of harassment, unwanted uh, touching and contact. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the three different solutions uh, based on, again, like how bad the situation is evolving. Perfect, let's get it started. What very often happens, more in Canada than in other countries, is that someone is trying to be insistent with mm -hmm. you. Hey, you want to go for coffee? Come in close. Doesn't know what no means. Me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, doesn't know what no means, but the problem is a lot of women will be very polite. Mm -hmm. Too polite all yeah. the time, saying, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. It's five, six times. We've been trained. Okay. <laughs> exactly. And uh, it's okay to be polite the first time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not interested. If yeah. you insist, you have to be firm. I said no. Yeah. If he insists again, then uh, we're giving him a message that is so unambiguous that anybody in the world will understand that you don't want uh, to it's be It's unwanted touched. attention. It's exactly. non-consent. Yeah. The message is, stay away! Oof. This is the message. <laughs> There's no ambiguity in what I just did. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So the way you do uh, this is very simple. There's body and voice. Yeah. For the body, it's a strong step forward. So take a strong step forward with your left leg. Yes, very good. And at the same time, your arm, can I touch? Yeah. Your arm is like this, okay. right, right, right below your eyes. Your hand is open. And this means don't come past this. Right. Okay? Okay. Your other hand is up just in case you need it. That's exactly the way you are. Okay. And at the same time, exactly as you take the step, you look straight forward. Yeah. Uh, looking as mean as you can and stay away! Yeah. It's not a stay away, it's, a, it's an order. It's like stay away. Yeah. Okay? What happens when you do that, first of all, it gives, it makes you clear to the person that you're not a victim. Yeah. You know, every time I say go, you take a strong step with left leg, left hand uh, forward like this and you scream, stay away. Okay. Ready and go! Stay away! Yes, and again, go! Stay away! Very good. Now, in the real scenario, we're just not That doing... gets your blood pumping. Yes, of course. So... Is that because of the adrenaline running through my system right now? It's a, yes, it, that's what it is. It's adrenaline and uh, also like serotonin, like it actually triggers the, uh, the pleasure centers in the brain because right. you're moving from being scared to being angry right. and really getting ready to fight. Okay, uh, we're moving to uh, the next step when now there's going to be some kind of contact. Yeah. First thing, whenever you're in any kind of situation where you feel that you're not safe is to put your hands up. Okay. And putting your hands up just like this with the palm uh, facing me. Okay. And again, this is the message to stay like don't come any closer than that. You just yeah. put your hand yeah. like this on my chest, on yeah. the top of my chest yeah. to stop me. But you don't just do this. See here, you bend your elbow a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me come a bit closer. And from there, make your hand very hard, very rigid. Yes. And the top of your fingers are going right here. You oh, feel it? Oh, yeah, right in your neck. neck. Yeah. At this point, you're going to turn your shoulder like this and at the same time, strengthen your arm and push. Okay. So don't, don't push my chest anymore. Let your arm off, your hand off, okay. and push in my, in my neck. I don't want to hurt push you. Me back. Don't worry, you okay. want. Okay. Uh, so again, try it just for fun. But, oh, yes, uh, okay. harder. You really harder? want to push far. Okay. Hey. Stop so the last thing I'm going to show you is a little bit more violent. Okay. okay? It's in a situation where you feel a little bit more uh, at risk. Yeah. And uh, again, like for someone who has a uh, visual impairment, mm -hmm. the minute there is, the second there is any contact, mm -hmm. it's not a problem anymore. You know where I am. Yeah. You know where my face, you know where the groin is exactly. and everything. So it's only if something comes from far that uh, it will be a problem. Yeah. So now you're going to do two things. Again, I'm coming, grabbing you. Mm -hmm. All right? The first thing you're doing, because I may be holding your arms and you can't use your arms, right. is you're going to throw a knee to my groin. Okay. All right, I'm going to use the shield so you can... Okay. Really <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh... <laughs> so just to explain to you, very mm -hmm. simple, you're going to go with your uh, right leg and when okay. you hit with the knee, you hit with the, the top part of the knee okay. upward. Okay. Strength comes from your hips. Yeah. So you 
moving your pelvis forward, yes, and you go very straight up. Okay. You want to uh, almost lift me up okay. by hitting me in the groin. Okay. okay. So now I have the shield, you can go, go. Yes, yes, very good. A little bit higher. <clears throat> yes, good. And it's time that I put it Ready? all to the test. Go. <clears throat> Get away, stay away! Yes, very good. So how does that make you feel to have learned just these few things? Uh, it makes me feel really great. I think that the disabled community, especially, and with women, um, you know, there are lots of attacks that happen all the time. And having these tips in the back of my pocket to get myself into a physical state where I feel like I can protect myself, but also into an emotional, mental state in that I, I don't have to be nice. And I, I know it's going to help a bunch of people. So thank you so much. My pleasure. That was awesome. Shelby really put her vocal cords to work, something I think we know she's pretty good at. For sure, but I am glad that this story encouraged us to use our voices. If you're interested in learning more about Krav Maga or self-defense classes, visit KravMagaOttawa.com.